right, so today is a day of the burnout. There's one thing we gotta do before we go and do this burnout, and what's that? Change oil. Why, why are you so like demanding <laughs> when you answer? Change oil! We have to um do what? We're gonna change the oil. Why, you talk to them, not me. I know what we're doing. <laughs> be more stern with them, be like, we're changing the fucking oil. Changing the fucking oil. <laughs> yeah, so today we're gonna go ahead and change the oil in blue, and if you saw Monday's video, the burnout already happened, so. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video, and right now I have no idea how it went. For all I know, I could have gotten arrested, so yeah, I'm not sure. But anyways, we got the oil to change, and if you watched the previous vlog we were in, or it was one of the previous where um, we went on a date to AutoZone, and everybody got butthurt about it, but you know, I don't give a shit. But we picked up the oil and stuff. That's what we're doing before this burnout. Gonna top her off with um, some coolant as well. Yeah, and she's doing the work today, so little did she know. I'm um, what? You're doing the work. Oh, well in that case, bye. Okay, see you later. She's not down the clown or she's not down the fucking um, work on cars, so I don't think I don't think I'm gonna keep her around much longer. Oh, you look like a here. goddamn dude from that 70s show right now. I just work here, man. I just you, work you just work here. here. You hating on the shirt? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> what are you, uh? Conor McGregor. Conor yeah. McGregor. <clears throat> Boy, knockout, bitch. Yeah, you got your bitch ass out. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the blue paint, motherfucker. <laughs> so what do we got? So this is an oil drain plug because um, we needed a new gasket. Here's our oil filter, STP, and then we got our mobile one oil. Both. Why do we have two? Because it's six quarts in total. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. That's what we got. That's what we got. So in today's video, she doesn't know how to change oil, so that's pretty much what this is gonna revolve around. I'm gonna um, show her how to change it in blue, obviously. So, yeah. So over here, we got hashtag Buck Fen, obviously, and he's gonna help us out with some camera work. We got a lot of work to do, and I got a big day today because, like I said, I gotta do this burnout, and I'm kind of nervous, but we're gonna we're gonna kill it. So I'm gonna go ahead and air up the car a little bit, get the jack, get jack stands, get this ready to go, get the oil pan so we can drain the oil, and then just go from there. And teach her exactly what to do. I have a GoPro as well, so I'm gonna get underneath the car with her, like film some on hand shit. So. So, yeah, should be okay. And are you nervous? Um, no. You're not nervous? Okay, good. Not High this five. time. Oh. Alright, yeah, she got me there. She got me. Anyways, I'm gonna get the jack and oh, 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 <laughs> sweetheart. Boy. Oh no. Alright, so as you guys can see, we got the jack. We got our jack stands, and yeah, it's not no coincidence that everything is blue because blue is the shit. Even so. blue balls. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get this jack stand underneath here, get this side jacked up, throw a jack stand underneath it, vice versa, same with the other side. So Ben here, follow him on Instagram, the Auto Empire, mm -hmm. is gonna take over the camera work for us. Let's get into this. Put the drink down, put the fucking drink down. Let's get into this. Alright, so the number one rule when changing oil is do not do it on a gravel driveway. Rule number two is when you do this, but, We're on a gravel driveway. Yeah, that's the point. We're not supposed to be. We need to get a jack stand on this frame rail. This okay. this frame right here. So look, look where we're putting the jack. Ow, this hey, hurts. it feels good. Just got you got you got to be the rocks. You got to be the rocks. We're jacking it right here. See this? Okay. All right, so we're on there. Okay. Okay. Then you want to make sure your jack's tight always. Ew. Don't start. It's okay. I don't mind being dirty. Just to be safe. Ah, you fuck. Alright, so we got our two jack stands here, and I'd rather be safe than sorry, so we're just gonna lift this down slowly till the, all the weight's on the jack stands, and we're gonna keep the jack underneath there as well. Kind of like a third, third support beam. All right, there we go. Now the jack is completely tight. We got our two jack stands, got all the car's weight on this side at least, you know, so we're gonna be good. And if we crawl underneath here, I think we'll have enough room to, you know, pull the oil pan plug and pretty simple from there, so. Uh, yeah, we're good. Right now we got the car propped up as you guys can see. So we're gonna go underneath there. I'm gonna hop on the GoPro and I got the oil pan right there. I'm gonna place that underneath there, show her like take out the plug obviously to drain the oil. But yeah, we'll see you guys on the GoPro. Right. We're back. Okay, you're gonna need this. That's gonna take out the oil what is pan this plug. A it's a ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah, you're ratchet. Ratchet. <laughs> I right, saw so the oil pan bolt is right there. We gotta line this up. Do you want me to get it, or do you want me to, or do you want to get, get it? it? You want to get it? Yeah. Okay, look. All right, yep. Stick that on there. 
It's a ratchet, so you can keep going back and forth. Yeah, but the bucket's in the way. It's okay. Like, like I said, get it, get it, hand loose. Alright, line it up and pull the plug. There you go, see? Very simple. Okay. Let's let that drain. drain. Yep, yeah, hold on, just stand underneath here though, because you have to grab it. So, as I was saying, I probably should eject the car up a little more, and I apologize, guys, it's so hot out here today. Do you want me to get What's the, the temperature angle? today? 88. So, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do that. So we're gonna let that drain out real quick. We're gonna take a little, what the fuck? We're gonna take a little break, get some water while that's draining, and we'll be right back. Good job, you got the bolt out. No. Don't fuck my shit. <laughs> how pretty my nails are. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I, I totally did my nails today too for this video. The color is shit. Mm. The color is shit brown. <laughs> Pull the oil filter out afterwards. That's where all the messiness comes from because it's like right underneath there. All right, so a little update. For one, it's probably like a hundred and something underneath this car. And two, this filter was being such a bitch, but I got it. As you can see, it's hand loose right here. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting Ray to get that at all because it took me like 10 minutes because I don't know what the hell was going on. This this stupid clamp tool was just not working. But anyways, she's gonna come underneath there. This is where it gets dirty. And yeah, I'm going on vacation, I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna take this pan and place the pan exactly underneath it, okay? Okay, turn that other way. Yep. No, other way. Yep. Okay, watch your eyes. Keep going. It's gonna, it's gonna get nasty. All right, when you pull it off, no, no, baby, you gotta pull. Okay, it's not, it's gonna go everywhere. It's gonna go everywhere. So, okay, just watch your eyeballs though. And you have to swing that. You have to bring that out. So just watch yourself. Where am I gonna pull it out? It's okay. Yeah, right there. It's gonna be filled. Yeah. Okay, yep, just leave it just like that. Bring it down. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you got it. You can just throw it right in there, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Let that sit now. Ben? What's up? Can you grab a rag? A rag? Where yep, go that? in the garage. Yeah. On the workbench. We probably chose a horrible day to do this oil because it is blazing hot out here right now. And it's such a. Tight squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just take this towel and just wipe as well as you can, like all that junk up there. Yeah, well, don't put it just on don't face. I'm sorry, it's huge. God, yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck you oh is it? Okay. Alright, so since we got this off, I'm gonna come out of here. Uh, Come on, get out of here. Hello. Alright, so we got the oil filter off, got the drain plug out. I bought a new drain plug, I'm hoping it fits. I'm gonna show her how you wanna um, apply the new one. Yeah, the new one, so we'll get right to it. As you can see, we have our old filter here, and we're gonna throw it in the old box. So can you grab me that box real quick? There you go. Alright, so what you do with these, you just wanna take a little bit of the old oil, and you wanna do this little fitment thing right here, okay? So that lubes it up. Lube it up. Yep. So you can spit on it, you can... <laughs> you gotta go back underneath there, and now you gotta tighten it the other way. You gotta screw okay. it on the other way, okay? Okay. And I'll tighten it up with the tool. But okay. Yeah, so back on the GoPro once again. When you screw it on, make sure you do not cross thread it. It screws on very easily, that means the threads are lined up perfect. Okay. Turn it as tight as you can with your hand. All right. Here, take the GoPro and explain to him. Show him what you did. I went ahead and hand tightened it, but Derek's gonna go in here and tighten it even more with the actual tool. But now all we have to do is throw on the new drain plug and we'll be good to go. How's it going, Ray? Not so good. <laughs> it's so hot under here. But you would think it would be like, all right, because it's in the shade, but it's really not. Nah, no, probably not. Mm -mm. And I'm like really nervous because we're on gravel and I'm just like nervous it's gonna go yeah, on me. I doubt that. No, we saw someone who did, like who did. 
Um, the ambulance was like underneath the car trying to get someone out from under it. That's sketch. It's so scary. Well, have fun. All right, so we got the new drain plug here. As you just saw, Ray just went ahead and put in the new oil filter. She did a pretty good job. So I just have to go underneath there with the oil filter clamp, you know, give it a proper tightening down. So now what I'm gonna do is hand her this new drain plug. She's gonna throw it in, tighten it down. Like I said, I just gotta um, tighten down the oil filter properly, apply the new oil and start her up, let her run for a little bit and we're good to go. So pretty simple. All right, here's a new drain plug. You remember where that goes, right? In the uh, oil yes. pan, straight back. All right, so let me see the GoPro. Oh, lot people. Okay, so you gotta scoop all the way down. Okay. Okay, again, don't cross thread it. You'll be good. Good job. All right, ratchet. here you go. Did you call me Ratchet? No, I'm Ratchet Ray. <laughs> Here's your Ratchet. Now you Is wanna. Yep, right? you're good to go. Okay. Yep. There you go. Get it good, nice and tight. You don't want it too tight though. You don't want to strip it out. Okay. A little more, a little more. Perfect. All right. Good job. So, so all I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten down that oil filter that's peaking up there. Then we just got to apply new oil. High five. Are we going to high five every time we get something done? Little mitts. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Damn. That's a warrior. We're going to jack the car up, get these jack stands out, lay the car level, and then... All we have to do is apply new oil. So go ahead and get, take those out. There you go. Watch yourself. Okay, yeah, you guys saw how that just shifted horribly on those rocks. That's very dangerous. All right, now for the pretty sight. There we go, look at all that blue shit. Boy! Boy, what the hell is that? And here's your funnel. It doesn't hurt to take like an old towel, you know, and just like completely surround this area. So now, you know, if you accidentally spill it, you're good to go. It's not gonna get everywhere and get all disgusting. Open it for me, damn it. <laughs> no, just, you do not want any of this getting into the motor. All right, I'll hold your funnel for you. Thanks. Careful yeah. though, okay? Go slow. There you go. Just. Ben, mm -hmm. I'll take the camera. You start up blue. Give her a start up and just let her chill. this run for about five minutes just to get that oil circulated through the motor um, other than that I'm gonna go underneath the car look for any leaks we got see if anything's spilling out which it shouldn't it looked pretty good but you did very good Thank you. and we're not quite done yet because we got to check the dipstick that's like the last step you got something on you I got a lot on me I'm, I'm filthy right now We'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, so it's been running for you know a couple minutes. The oil is definitely circulated through the motor. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this off, and we just gotta check the dipstick just to be safe and you know make sure we're displaying oil properly. But get your butt over here, you ain't done. All right, so here's the dipstick, and the first time, first time you want to do is just clean it completely. So we're completely dry right now. Then stick this back in. No, I can pull it out. One sec, let me get this in. Okay. Yep, and when you pull it out, pull it out, not slow, but like, go ahead. Okay, we're definitely showing good. Um, it looked like five quarts was plenty, and obviously we had the car on an angle, and we probably should have like let it down completely so the oil wouldn't stick to one side of the pan, but it'll be perfectly fine. We're gonna add just a little more from the six quart. And that's a wrap. That's the oil change that she did. So she did good. I Very like, good. can't get the oil. I know that thing's a bitch. The short throw dipstick is an aftermarket short model. Short throw dipstick. Okay. So we're just going to add a little more in. And, and that right there should be plenty of oil. And it's been a good minute since I changed it. I don't drive the car every day. So I mean, it's really not that bad. But you know, fresh oil is always a good feeling. Motor's protected. We are adding antifreeze right now just because, as you guys know, we are doing a burnout. Um, so we need that. So the reason why we're filling it is to make sure it doesn't overheat and that we're good to go. 
um, for the burnout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video because this is a lot of work and I'm sweating over here. Oh, actually, all right, I just filled it. We're good to go. We're completely full, so we're ready to roll. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That was rather simple. She did great. Make sure you go follow Ray on Instagram, official Ray Ann, and yeah, do it. All right, she did fantastic. Lay one right there. Okay, now you gotta hit the hood. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Where's her? Oh, Kept that bamba jam up. That would not have been good. No, I forgot it. Make sure that oil cap's tight too. All right, cool beans. Shut that. And Ben, air that out. sucker out. Dang. Wow. That's a 45. And that can actually go lower. That's surprising. See, it's the dampering on these things. I gotta fix the dampering. What, hey, what? Babe, What's wrong? You gotta fix the dampering. I know, I gotta fix that dampering. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but. Fix the I should fix the dampering. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now I know um, a lot of you guys don't like Rayanne, but it's all good because you know she's gonna be. My, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this oil change with Blue. She did a fantastic job, and I know it's like really hot underneath there, but you did good. Found Thanks. it. Found it. Oh, you know. <laughs> As I was saying, guys, she did fantastic, so be sure to drop this video a huge thumbs up. Tell them, huge thumbs up. Huge thumbs up. Huge thumbs up. Drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you want to say what's up, that's cool too. But most importantly, fam, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you later. Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online. My city don't show me no love, and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations. I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again. I've been going in. I'm fed up with so much.